Banks fixed the main issue that I had with the Armor Pro and here is the Banks Armor Pro montage. So let's take a look. So on the front of it, you do get that classic Banks packaging. You get a see your case right there with this clear top. It does say built with Kevlar, thin and light, enhanced impact resistance, and it is designed for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now this one for the 15 series does only come in the 15 Pro and the 15 Pro Max. And on the back of it, a little more information, built with DuPont Kevlar, some more Banks stickers, and all that fun stuff. And also a huge, huge shout out to Banks for sending this over to me to review for you guys. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Now, you just open it up right there, pull this out, and here we have our case. Little information right there. You can go ahead and scan those QR codes if you wanna see more, but that's basically it. So starting off with the back, we do have that nice montage colorway. So basically this is going to be a mix of 600D and 1500D Kevlar. So that's what you get right here. It does say designed by Banks on the bottom, which I wish it didn't have so much branding. It's got some right there and right there on the camera ring where it does say Banks right there. I would like to see a little bit more minimized branding, maybe get rid of this design by Banks right here, just leave the Banks on the camera ring, or maybe even just make that all black and get rid of this. I would like to see a little bit less branding. So that's the back of it. Taking a look at the inside, we do have our MagSafe ring with the alignment magnet, and it says built with Kevlar right there. So here we do have some shock absorption material going around the inside of the case, and your corners are all reinforced with these little bumpers on the inside, so that also helps with some shock protection. Now, let's go ahead and weigh this case real quick, and we'll see how much it weighs, how thick it is, all that great stuff. So, putting it down onto the scale, we are looking at 43 grams. And just to compare it over to the original Armor Pro, which I have right here, this one was 43 grams, and this one is also 43 grams. So, exact same weight on those. Let's go ahead and set the scale over to the side, and bring over our trusty caliper, and let's go ahead and measure how thick it is. So 11.1 millimeters right there, and with the original one, same thing, 11.1 millimeters on this one. So the same exact thickness going around from front to back, and on the sides, we are looking at 2.8 millimeters here, and on the original Armor Pro, also 2.8 millimeters right there. So the exact same size and thickness on both of these cases, they are basically the same. If you guys wanna see what the two look like, compared to each other. This is the montage and this is the original. So very nice look. And I've always really liked the look of the montage. I have it in the Armor Air and now in the Armor Pro. I've been using this case for a few days and this has been really, really nice to use. This is definitely a contender for the top 10 cases. So anyways, enough talking about that. Let's go ahead and take the Black Titanium 15 Pro Max and we'll slap it in here. Now let's listen out for that click. Pretty decent click onto there. And checking out on those corners, those should have a little bit of a better click. Nice one right there. One, two, three, four. Very nice click on all of the corners. Super secure fit on this case. You're definitely not going to see too much movement going around. If you guys can see the sides, you gotta kinda really give them a little bit of a push to come around. The buttons are going to be a little bit more loose as per usual. The bottom is nice and stiff and the top is nice and stiff right there. So definitely an excellent fit on this case and you absolutely don't have to worry about this flying off if you do drop your case. So let's go ahead and take a look around the sides. Now on the top of it, it is completely closed in. On the left hand side, we do have our action button, volume up and down, and the rest of the side is closed in. So let's listen to how those buttons sound. So nice click on those buttons, very nice buttons that are pronounced. And I do like that there is a little bit of a difference between the volume up and down and the action buttons. That way you can kind of know exactly which button you're clicking, even if it's in your pocket or in your purse, your sling bag, wherever you're keeping it. So moving along to the bottom of the phone, we do have our accurate microphone and speaker cutouts, as well as a nice open USB type C port, which let's go ahead and bring over our anchor cable here plug that in, there's our charging. And if you guys can see right there, you do get a little bit more space than what the anchor cable takes up. So most of your thicker head cables should definitely fit in here with no issues with that. Now, moving along to the right-hand side, 
completely closed in with just that power button right there. So how does this case feel in the hand? And it's very nice, it's super comfortable. You can definitely feel the texture differences between the 600D and the 1500D Aramid Fiber or Kevlar and definitely some nice grip on this one. Now, if we go back to the Armor Pro, you can kind of feel it a little bit, but it's very uniform and super, super slightly textured. Whereas on the Armor Pro Montage, you can definitely feel a good bit more texture on here and that helps with the grip, which is the biggest issue that I had with the original Banks Armor Pro. This thing is very nice, but it was super, super slippery. Now, Banks still does sell this one on their site if this is kind of the look you prefer more, but in my recommendation, I definitely prefer this one a lot more because they did something different with the materials going on the side and especially with a little bit of that extra texture on the back that this thing has not been slippery at all. I've been using it, like I said, for the last couple days and I haven't had it slip out of my hands whatsoever. When it's sitting on the couch or anything, it hasn't really been slipping if it's sitting at a weird angle. But whereas with the original Armor Pro, this thing was slippery. I actually dropped my phone in the original Armor Pro a couple of times. And that was, you know, I did mention that in my original review for that case, which if you guys are interested in that, I'll be sure to leave that video right there at the end of the video. But either way, they definitely fixed that with this case right here and it hasn't slipped out of my hands. It hasn't been slippery at all. Now let's take a look at that camera and screen protection. Let me give the little screen a little bit of a wipe down. I am using a tempered glass screen protector and if you guys can see right there, there's definitely some screen protection going around the case. That way, if you are using a tempered glass screen protector or not, you definitely should be confident in being able to set this on most surfaces. I wouldn't go setting it on any jagged surfaces, but most of them you should be able to set this on and not worry about your screen getting damaged. Now on the back, that camera ring, by the way, which is another difference if you guys can see right there, on the original one, that was kind of this matte gray titanium looking one. And on here, they made it a nice matte black, which looks really, really good, especially with the black titanium iPhone. So taking a look at that camera protection, as per usual with Banks, you get a nice proper camera lip. So you can definitely feel free to set that down on any surface and not have to worry about that getting scratched up, or your camera getting scratched up, I should say. And you do get a metal camera ring, so it's going to be a good bit more durable. So let's go ahead and bring over our usual suspects for the MagSafe test, and we'll check that out. Now this is the Apple MagSafe wallet. Put that on, there's our animation, and absolutely no issues. If you know anything about banks, they've got super good MagSafe strength, no issues whatsoever with that. You do kind of have to push that off in order for that to come off. Now, before I move over to the other suspects, taking a look right here, you do kind of get a little bit of fingerprinting because it is that Kevlar or Aramid fiber type of case, and you are gonna get a little bit of that. It's not as bad as the original one. I have noticed that the fingerprinting is not as bad as this one, but that's just kind of one of those things you're gonna get with this case, but you give it a little bit of a wipe down with a nice microfiber cleaning cloth, and for the most part, it does go away. Now, if you wanna use like an alcohol swab or a you know lens cleaning swab, just go ahead and give it a once over, all your fingerprints will go away with no issues. But anyways, moving along to the Apple MagSafe battery pack, we'll go ahead and slap that on. Very nice click on there, charging animation right there. And because of that alignment magnet, as well as the super strong MagSafe strength, you can definitely sit here and shake this as much as you want. And it's not even slipping, it's not coming off whatsoever. Super good MagSafe strength between the case and the MagSafe battery pack. And finally, moving along to our Anchor 623 right here. Let's go ahead and connect that. And of course, it's gonna pick up your base and you can definitely give it a pretty decent shake before this starts to come off. And of course we can go to our 360 degree test. Now you're sitting here typing a text or an email, scrolling through Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, which by the way, follow me at Brian's underscore tech. Shameless plug right there. But there you go. Sit here, no issues whatsoever. And that is perfectly good to go. You tap all the way around the screen and you have no issues. Now you wanna go ahead and switch over to your landscape mode, watch a little YouTube video, watch your favorite Brian's tech video. No issues whatsoever. You can type around here, you can click around, fast forward a little bit, or rewind I should say, that would be on the left hand side. Fast forward a little bit right there, no issues. And of course you can spin it 
360 degrees all you want without this thing coming off. So great MagSafe on this one. Guys, I really, really recommend this case. Now the price on this one is going to be $42.99. A lot of the time Banks does have these cases on Amazon. I have not been able to see this one on Amazon at the time of recording this video, but on Banks website, it is $42.99. And I do have a discount code for you guys, which I will leave right here. So if you use code Brian15, you'll be able to save 15% off of your entire purchase at Banks, which by the way, this case will be linked down below in the description for you guys to check out. But highly, highly recommended. I can definitely recommend this case significantly over the original Armor Pro because they fixed that slipperiness. It looks really nice. I really like the way that it looks. I would just wish that you guys would remove this design by Banks here and just make it this nice flush black looking case with these two different patterns. I think that would look excellent. But all in all, definitely go check this case out and let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comments below. Make sure you like and subscribe. And if you're interested in another great Aramid case that's also protective, I'll be sure to leave that video right there.